All right, let's learn the intro first. It's so easy. Get your guitar out. Let's do it right now. This song was recorded in the key of E flat minor. So in order to do that, Paul capoed his guitar with a capo up six frets. And the first thing that you need to do is let's get the left hand taken care of. It's just one finger. And I recommend using the middle finger. Two frets up on the third string. One, two. Right here. Just hold it right there. And if you're getting any buzzing, just keep your thumb back, okay? The whole purpose of getting your finger back here is that you want to arch your fingers, all right? So let's look at the pattern now. It's basically this right here. It's strings. We're holding this down. Strings three, one, two, one. That's the whole pattern. Three, one, two, one. And I'm going thumb, middle, thumb, middle. All right, and the whole pattern sounds like this a little bit faster. We only need two fingers for this whole song and I'm playing it with my thumb and my middle finger. All right, and I'm not even using my index finger on this. The reason I'm not using my ind index finger, and you certainly can do it like that, because then when we go to do another chord where we're using some bass notes, the stretch is gonna be a little bit bigger and it might be hard to get the coordination down. So I recommend just going thumb and middle finger for this whole thing, okay? So that's the intro part. Let's go over some of the chords in this song. The next chord in this song is a G chord, and we only need one finger for this G chord. I recommend using your ring finger because it's going to be easier to change to some of the other chords. So that picking pattern is the same pattern, just different strings, all right? So we're holding down this G, and the picking pattern is this, okay? And I'll call out the strings. Strings six, one, two, one, six, one, two, one, six, one, two, one, six, one, two, one. All right, that's the G chord. Six, one, two, one, six, one, two. And I'm just counting it like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next chord is an A sus two chord. And there's nothing on the left hand at all. It's just we're picking different strings. And that will give us this chord. So same pattern. It's strings five, one, two, one. All right, five, one, two, one, five, one, two, one. All right, so that's the A sus two chord. And the next chord is an F chord. And I know you're thinking, boy, I don't know an F chord. Well, you could play this one. This is an F major seventh chord, and it's three frets up with our ring finger on the fourth string, and one fret up with our index finger on the second string, like so, all right? And if you're having trouble playing this, just make sure you get your thumb down so you get enough arch, all right? Now you'll see my thumb sticking out, <laughs> but I'm still arching my fingers, all right? So holding that chord down, we're picking strings four, one, two, one, all right? I hope you could see now where this is going because we just keep pivoting off of these two strings for the whole song, strings two and one. We're going to hit a bass note and then we're going to always play these two strings. All right, we're never going to change. <laughs> totally amazing, right? So your, your thumb has to do some fancy thumb work here, but these two strings are always going to be played in this, in this song here for every chord the whole time. So it's strings four, one, two, one. All right, that's the F major seventh chord. And we've got a C chord. C chord right here, we're not playing a full C chord. We're just going to play a two-fingered C chord. Same strings as the F chord. 
four, one, two, one. All right, you could see by not having to change strings, you're going to be able to get some good speed with this song, almost play it right up to speed where it should go. It's not a real fast song anyway. So, so the F was four, one, two, one, and the C is four, one, two, one. All right, and I'm using my thumb and my middle finger. The next chord is an A minor chord. And we're just going one fret up on the second string. And we're picking strings five, one, two, one. All right, simple enough, five, one, two, one. The genius of Paul Simon. Verses 3, 4, and 5 has some alterations with how long some of the chords are held out. Instead of trying to pigeonhole words that didn't fit into the chord structure, he decided to either elongate or cut short some of the chords. So I have that inside of all of the sheet music, the original version, and from one verse to the next it changes. Verse 1 and 2 is the same but the rest of the song has little changes in there, and that's uh, going to be reflected in the sheet music. You just have to follow along. If you want to get that and the Tux Guitar Files, just go right there, and you'll also be invited to sign up for my free VIP guitar group. Everything is free to uh, the group, free help as well. And let me tell you a little bit about Tux Guitar, because something new happened. I found that they put out an app for phones. So uh, there's no reason not to get this. And especially if you want to be able to sing this song, because what I did was I have six different keys to sing this song in that I've included in Tux Guitar. All right. And that's going to be very, very helpful because it will be very easy to find the key that's good for you. You just put the capo, no capo, or you just put the capo where it's comfortable. And the Tux Guitar program helps you find your key. So you're going to want to get that. I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour with Tux Guitar and just show you how some of it works. Hello, darkness, my old friend. All right, so after you've clicked on the link um, that I've given you for the files, it's going to take you to my Google Drive. All right, and it will look something like this. And to change the view and look at columns instead of the icons, which I prefer, just go to the list view right here and click on that, and then you'll see these files a little bit better. You're going to want to read me first if you don't have Tux Guitar already downloaded on your computer, all right, or your, your phone, um, because here's the phone link right here, okay? So you're going to want to click on that and go ahead and download this to your phone or use the app. And then if you don't have it on your computer, you just go to this link right here, and that'll take you to uh, uh, be able to download. I have all the downloading instructions right here. Okay, 
So after you've downloaded Tux Guitar to your computer or you use the app on the phone, the next thing to do is go to the Tux Guitar files. And you can't open these from here, okay? That won't play. So what you have to do is click on each one, okay? They're in all different keys, A minor, B minor, C minor, so on and so forth. Click on the link here and go ahead and hit the download button, okay? And just go ahead and I've already downloaded it over here and just hit save. And then what you do is just click after you have the program um, installed on your phone or your computer. You just click on the uh, click on my link, double click on the link, and it will open up. So you just downloaded all of the Tux guitar files and you got um, one of them to open up. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to the bottom here and you could see that there's an electric piano, okay, and a steel string guitar, melody and finger picking. And let me play this for you. This is playing the melody, the electric piano, and the steel string guitar is playing the finger picking. And it kind of sounds a little goofy, but it gets the job done. And this is um, showing the melody notes. But then I can go and click on finger picking right here, and this shows the tablature for the finger picking, which is what you're going to want to do. It's so much easier to do the finger picking when you're hearing the melody. At least you don't get lost and you're just playing chords, all right? So that's very helpful to have that melody going along. I should have done that a long time ago. Also, the words are kind of here. They, they got crammed in a little bit, but you get the general idea. Now, what you're going to want to do, all right, and also, too, let me just show you this. You could change the tempo right here of the whole thing. Okay, I had it at 87, but you're going to want to maybe practice at 30. Okay, let's just see what 30 sounds like. Very slow. Okay, I'm going to change that back for right now. What's cool about this is you've downloaded all these files, Perhaps when you're trying to sing in, in this range right here to this uh, E-flat minor, I know it was too high for me. So maybe this key is going to be better. So let's open this one up. And this is in the key of what? Key of B minor. Okay, so it's capo 2, and I have everything clearly marked. So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to go through these keys and try to listen to the melody with just sing your vocal part. Don't even you don't even have to play the guitar. Just listen to the melody notes and sing along with it and find out which one suits your vocal best, all right? So that's the goal. If you need any help, you can always email me at acoustic_guitar_videos@gmail.com. at gmail.com. If you want to hear some great rock music from the 60s and the 70s, go right here.